Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf. In this video I'm going to show you how you can create multiple users on one PC. And you might ask why you would need this. And this could be useful for example if you would want to share your computer with other people. For example with your family. And on this one computer or one PC you would want to give them their own logins and their own passwords. So they can also log in and use this one computer. And all these accounts which we will create on one computer for for multiple users they will have their own data this means that if you have created an account for your sister one for your mother and if your sister uploads different files or images to their download directory then those files and images and their information will be visible only to them under their account and will not be visible to all other accounts or to all other users which will be logging in into this one pc and this will be also a good tutorial like intro tutorial for those those who are also interested how to work with Windows Server and Active Directory as that is also something what I will be showing you in my future videos how to get Windows Server, how to get Active Directory and how to work with Active Directory. And by the way I'm doing all this on my virtual box as you can see here guys I'm now in virtual box and even this Windows installation this is also running in, on my virtual box virtual machine which I have also showed you how to get virtual box and how to install windows 10 on virtual box and all these other operating systems in my previous videos so let's get started and let's start by creating users right click on your start icon which is located in the left bottom corner and here you will see settings click into settings and here you will see accounts click into accounts here on the left hand side when once you are in accounts click on family and other users we will be creating family and other users because we want to create a private accounts because we don't know their emails if you would know their emails you could create here email and accounts and you could assign their accounts their respective email addresses but I will create independent private accounts on this computer so I use family and other users and click on add someone else to this PC once this window opens up here you will see under this email box I don't have this person signing information click on that link create account and again will be prompting for email here also click on link add user without microsoft account and here you give a username i will give a first username bugatti1 give this user a password and repeat password in case you forget your password i will add here anything at all guys one two three for second question i will also do exactly the same one two three as i am creating this for only demonstration purposes and one two three and click on next now this bugatti one user has been created and similar way just create another three users and just to keep it simple i will call each user bugatti as you can see this one is bugatti one next one we will be bugatti two three and four And now we have created four users who can access this PC. If you click on any of these users, you will see this button change account type click into there and here you can see that currently account type is standard user you could change it to administrator if you would wish to do so obviously if you are the main user of the computer it leaves them as standard users and click on ok and for example if you would want to change their passwords let's say in scenarios that someone of them have forgotten their password only in windows 10 if you will want to change a password to any of these users as administrator of this PC all you need to do is go into command prompt I will just show you this so to those who are interested type in CMD hit enter and com your command prompt will come up and to change password to any of these users all you need to type in in command prompt is net space user space and username for example you would want to change the password for username 2 as you can see for this one click space and here you give their new password and it will be added to that username now to test if these users have their own unique accounts let's do the following thing let's open a browser and in browser you can type in in google something like car or whatever you want and go into images for this my account i will download one image let's say this one i will download it save image as i will download into my downloads directory 
let's download it let's open it up just to make sure that it is in my downloads directory this image is downloaded and is available in my downloads directory and this my account which is my administrator account it is bugatti without any numbering however as you remember we created bugatti 1 bugatti 2 bugatti 3 bugatti 4 accounts so now let's log out from this account and let's open this computer from some other account so right click on menu click on sign out and let's log in with some other account now on the left hand side you will see all these users which you can use let's take a user one and you see bugatti one password whatever password you created for this user let's log in and let's check downloads directory now let's open a folder and let's go into downloads and you can see in this user one bugatti one there is no these files which are in my main account and you can do exactly the same for all other accounts to test them out to log in with each separate account and now if i go back sign out and here i will again sign in with my administrator's account which is bugatti hit enter there will be only my details available this is how you can create on one pc multiple accounts to allow multiple users to share one pc with their own data on their own accounts if you found this video useful leave a like share this video subscribe to the channel if you are new and see you in the next one